Hello, hello, this is Robin Sampson with BibleJournalClasses.com and we are studying the silence era, the era in between the Testaments. If you don't know, we do 12 Bible eras in 12 months. We take one 30 days to study in depth a Bible era to go through the entire Bible in one year. And we are right now in the Syrian period of the silence era. The silence era is the 400 years in between the Testaments. And in the Syrian era, there was a really wicked king, Antiochus Epiphanes, who was tried to Hellenize uh, the Jews by outlawing their Sabbath and circumcision and um, taking over their temple and sacrificing a pig to Zeus, which is was in Daniel, and it was known as the abomination of desolation. So while we're studying this, I wanted to teach you real quick how to make a piece of vellum to go on your treasure journal page. So if you can see, this vellum makes a big difference. On It's just too busy. The backgrounds are too busy to uh, do what we do without something as a frame. And so I've used the vellum with inked edges, and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do. When you finish, uh, it's going to look a little complicated because you have to change a lot of things. But once you do, I'm going to teach you how to save it so you can use it real easily on something else. So I'm just going to go to another page and draw a white rectangle. So I'm working in Photoshop CC, and this should work in Photoshop Elements. So now we have just a white rectangle, which you could use at any time and just bring down the opacity over here on the layers menu and it looks like a piece of vellum. But we're gonna make it look more like vellum by giving it an inked edge. So we'll leave the opacity for 100% right now and go down to the bottom at the FX, which is the styles menu on the layers palette and choose inner shadow. This should be set to multiply 35, distance 4, 3 or 4, um, the choke, I'm going to set to 28, and the size to 45. Now we'll go over to the Make sure you drop down to the inner glow, check it, and then take change the screen to multiply, change the opacity to 80, and the noise I'm going to play with in just a minute, but first let's change this to red. Go back to that inner shadow and change your choke to 9. Go back to inner glow. You're going to bring that noise way up. Then change your choke to 28. And your size is going to be about 45. Bring your noise back down a little bit. So here is your inked edge, and you can play with this to get a different look, something that you might like a little bit better than what I've got here. And just keep playing with your settings until you get it exactly the way you want it. You can leave, make sure your contour is a triangle like this and leave it at the range at 50 and the jitter at zero. But your size is going to be about 45, 46, under, between 45 and 50. Your choke should be between 25 and 30. And now here's the big secret. Save it as a new style. And now that you have that style, you can use it several times. So now we're going to save this by going to Rasterize Layer 
and now we're going to bring down the opacity. And now we have an inked piece of vellum. Now let me show you something else that you can do. Because you've saved that, and I'll just draw an arrow real quick. Now you can go to your styles to the bottom and click that on and you are either one. I had just made one to, for the other page. And now you can do put inked edges on anything. And here's the neat thing. When you click on inner glow, all you have to do is change it to color. And now you have another color inked edge. So that should save you, give you several options because a lot of things look good with inked edges. Let me uh, just do this just to see what it looks like with an inked edge. Now this one, you would want to go in here and change it a little bit and bring down the, uh, the size a little bit more. But see how you can ink an edge? Here, let's ink this. Let's go inked edge crazy. Again, these are smaller, so we're going to change the, uh, the inner glow, the size, and the choke. Oh, here's one more. Let's do this one. <laughs> That's a small one, so we're going to give just a tiny bit of an inked edge. And those of you who work with paper know inked edges make a world of difference. So that's all for now, and I will see you in the Facebook group. Bye-bye.